Here's how to delete WhatsApp data on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and the WhatsApp app is taking up too much space, maybe many megabytes or even gigabytes of data, I'll show you how to remove it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's open up the WhatsApp app here, and then we'll tap on settings at the very bottom right. Now, you have a couple different options. One, you can see right under notifications is storage and data. Let's tap on that. And at the very top, we can hit manage storage. Now it says basically it's using 224 megabytes on here. And if I scroll down, you can see review and delete items that are larger than five megabytes. So on any of these different ones, I can always just tap on it and then just go back into that specific video or photo and choose to delete it. I can hit select and tap on it and then just hit delete here and then delete. Now, that's one option, but you can also just go back here and you can go to various conversations. For instance, I can tap on this conversation and you'll see all of these random videos that were sent to me from WhatsApp. Again, I can hit select and I can select all these and then hit delete and delete. So this helps free up space on WhatsApp and take up less space on your phone. You can also just go back here, keep going back and you can tap on chats. And at the very bottom here, you can see you can choose to delete or clear all of the chats if you don't necessarily need them anymore. But keep in mind, this will delete all of the messages as well. So if you want all those messages, you just don't want it to take up as much space. I would recommend the first method where you're just deleting the photos and the videos from the chats themselves. Now, another option that you have is to clear out all of the cache. And you can tap on the settings here, tap on general and then iPhone storage. And on here, we'll just look for the WhatsApp app here. There it is. All we need to do is tap offload this app and then reinstall it. Essentially what this does, it will remove all of the cache and the cookies associated with this specific app and it will run a lot smoother and a lot lighter. So after you go through this process, it should remove some of the space that is taking up on your iPhone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.